Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in Solomon's Temple. My name is Solomon Izang Ashams. It's, it's good to be with you guys here. Um, I am here just so we can pray together. Uh, I'm here just so we can pray together. As usual, we take time to pray for Africa. Prayer for Africa is very important, and that is uh, what we do. Let me just switch this off. Uh, prayer for Africa is very important. That's what we do, and we try to do it because it is important to continue to intercede for Africa as a continent, for you as Africans, for me as an African, because for us as a continent in Africa, we've been through a lot, we're going through a lot, but the Bible says the effective, fervent prayer, the effective, fervent prayer of the righteous availed much. So then there's a qualification for you to have an effective, fervent prayer. The qualification is righteousness. That is the effective, fervent prayer of the righteous. That's what God says. That's what the Bible says. The effective, fervent prayer of the righteous. So I need to ask myself, am I a righteous what does it mean to be righteous? To be in right standing with God. Now, to be in right standing with God doesn't mean uh, I am saved. That's not enough. Uh, I am baptized. That's not enough. I, I go to church. I pay my tithes. I pay my offering. That's not enough. But we're talking about a place where you are totally immersed and walking in obedience with God. You know, to be safe is the beginning of having a right standing with God. To be a giver and to love other people is an expectation to having a right standing with God. And there are a lot of other expectations also. That's why I have a problem with people who just say, look, you're saved by grace and that's just it. The job is done. Whatever you do, you are saved. Whatever you do, you are righteous. <laughs> you know, uh, it's like, you, you know, you were caught stealing. They took you to court. They forgave you and you went back and stole again. But you say, I oh, know. I've been forgiven. So it's okay for me to go steal again. It's okay for me to go do this again. So there is, there is definitely uh, issues and, and, and uh, around that. But we're going to go straight into a time of prayer. Uh, there's uh, a pastor friend of mine in Ghana that I've been trying to get him uh, to Hello Rights. Yes, um, Rex. Yes, Rex. It's trying very hard to. No, it's fine. If you cannot connect uh, via. Listen, if you cannot connect. I, I, I can see you. No, it's fine. I can see you talking, Rex, but I Rex, hear your voice. Rex, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just uh, we can do it via WhatsApp. So I can continue from here, right? Just we let's continue the way we're talking now. You can just do it just on the on WhatsApp call. Uh, since we cannot get you on here, uh, your video, but we can just have it here on WhatsApp call. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me let me just uh, tell people a little bit about you. Uh, Rex is based in. Uh, in uh in ghana in just outside accra uh, or in accra basically uh and he was a missionary for quite a while and now he has he planted a church uh great church and they're doing quite a lot especially in the area of youth and children's ministry um so i invited him here to to pray with us and and be with us tonight so go ahead all right um i want to thank god for the life of my brother and um, also fellow uh, missionary. Uh, we we know each other from 2005 
this time, and, and very lengthy years. And um, so um, this thing about youth has been a burden to me. And um, I, I want to just come into this platform and also give you some tutorials, teachings about what God wants to do and what God has done, what God intends to do, and what God want, what God is doing with the youth. Mm. Now you see, and this is something funny, Uncle Solomon. If you uh, uh, you could see, every youth would want to be a prophet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because they believe it's it's it's, uh, it's the easiest way. Telephone numbers, but but prophetic ministry. It, they are for intention and also fellowship. Fellowship. Mm. That is the prophetic ministry. It is about intention and also fellowship. Mm. Because when Elijah was a prophet and Elisha was also a prophet, there, there were sons of prophets in the land, not in the church. Mm. So prophetic ministry is not a legacy to leave for your children, but prophetic ministry it is a ministry that can be identi identified by individuals. I have been a while while for almost 20 years. And trust me, I was not a prophet. I was an intercessor. But I was praying for my country, Ghana. And God gave me the grace to come to South Africa, Jobek West, Florida, to work as a missionary there for some time. And we went for um, also an outreach in um, Cape Town, Belfast, and other villages. It's long time, I cannot recall, of it, but I remember Belfast because when I, uh, I got a broken leg, when we were playing with a broken arm, when we were playing with the prisoners. Prophetic ministry is to transform unidentified talent. Mm. That is what we don't know. Go to the prisons, preach to them, let identify their challenges and their talents in the prison. Fix them, make them great. Every youth is with a mission. There is this scripture when I was praying about this program this morning, God gave to me. In Joel chapter 2, verse 28. But we will not start from verse 28. We want, I want us to come to a point where we will understand certain areas of Joel chapter 2, where we will understand. And in Joel chapter 2, and verse number 28, talks about in the, in the last days. I will pour my spirit onto all flesh, and the young men shall see visions and prophesy, and the old men will drink. Now, so I think we have to create a time for this particular segment. Mm -hmm. What is prophecy? Mm -hmm. If I tell you your past. It is not a prophecy. It is a revelation. Prophecy is to call something that has not ever been existed and to come to pass. 
from 12 to 28, before, restor before the prophecy, there must be a restoration. And this is where I want to read. So, I, I, I'm Solomon, can you please put it online for me? John chapter 2 and verse number that is what every youth and every prophet is using now. But I want to correct it because it has been an error. Which one is that? Joel chapter 2? Verse 17 coming. Verse 17. Yes, sir. Verse 17. Joel chapter 2. Yes, and verse number 17 downwards. I'm going to read down. We will understand. And I will tell you something. The, the, our next thing, the youth must not get angry for working, 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 working. You will go and borrow money for wedding, and you, after wedding, you come and pay debt. The wedding is, not, is a celebration, but the marriage properly is what your family has agreed when you pay your lobola at home and you give, you give your daughter, your, your, your wife, your daughter to you as a wife. This, uh, Joel chapter 2, what does it say again? Hello? Uh, what does he say? Yes, I can hear you now. You say Joel chapter 2, what does it say? Okay. Joel chapter 2 verse 17. 17. Verse 17. Yeah. Let the priest. Let the priest. Let okay, the hold priest. on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me put it on here. Let me put a part of it. You can read this, the other part of it. Joel chapter 2. All right. Yeah. Verse 17. We, we're going to read down to 28. So. Yeah, so we have a lot of time. Oh, no, so just read this part because I can only put I can only put this part now. All right, fine. So it, it, Bible did not say increased. So the command will person like red spot, not one person like Bishop um um or yet they put Bishop Ben Benzidaosa or Bishop 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 whatever. He said let the priest. There was an S there. Mm. The Lord, the Lord's ministers, it means anyone that believes that the Lord has called him, the Lord's ministers, we said, this is our time. Now, the, the world is becoming the church. And now the church is becoming the world because Christianity has no regulation. <laughs> hmm. So, Christianity has no regulation because in Ghana, last Tuesday was a public holiday in Ghana because the Muslims in Ghana were having um, Idil Adja or something and they have to kill their big fats. So, it has been regulated in every mosque in Ghana to also do faith. And there were no mosque service. They all came together to a place called um, a football pitch, bigger place, I was saying, to have a fellowship. But Christianity, we are not united. Something happened. Let me just say this. I know your problem is big. When uh, TV used to adapt, I saw you commenting. I follow you every day. The people are trying to kind of hide his death. I know some people, they, they try to hide the death. But yes, he really died. And as long as he was buried. And if Christianity has been out to be a religion, Niger every pastor in Nigeria, including Ghanaian pastors, most of them did not attend to his funeral. So what and what mark 
was it given to us? Mm. Mm. Christ, the whole concept of Christianity is L O V E, love. The youth now must know that prayer and fasting does not guarantee an anointing. But mm. when you feel passion for humanity, that is when God will feel that you have loved people and will bless you. Amen. I, I, I have been in South Africa some time ago, about three years, and myself and Solomon, <laughs> who is the host now, I wish they could see my face. When there was a court case against you, myself and you, yourself, we drove from Sunny Hill and we went to um, the court. And that day, the court said, the, 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 I think it was between you and Af, Af Lukau, and the case was kind of thrown out. I was with you at the same court. What is youth doing at this time? Every youth must have a vision. Let me come to 228, verse, um, verse, um, seven. Oh, okay. Uh, I just lost him there. Uh, whilst we get to, to reconnect, uh, we, we're praying for youth. And one of the things that youth, youth and young people, uh, always carry is courage. Courage, if you want to see courage, that is really magnified and lift, you have to look at the, the young people, you know? Uh, that is important. So uh, he's trying to connect now. Hi, Rex. Okay, the line drops. So yes, I want, we're, we're, I want we're, ask we're about to start prayer. So we, we can we go straight into prayer? Okay. okay. Yeah. Now we are we are going to pray that the youth would have a vision for the next generation. Amen. The youth would have a vision for the next generation. Amen. Because we we are representing the next generation. Yes. yes. I, I want us to pray right now that we the youth now we are to project the next generation. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we pray right now. Thank you, Jesus. For the youth across the globe, across um, the globe, that God, you give us a vision. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we don't want to just have peace. We mm. want to have a vision, great yes. mindset. Yes. In the name of Jesus, purpose for the youth, we are to champion the world and make the world a better place yes. to live. Yes, Lord. We Father, pray for the youth. That the youth the youth in Tanzania, the youth in Ghana, the youth in Ghana, the youth in Zimbabwe, the youth in Nigeria, the youth in Zimbabwe, the youth in Zambia, Swaziland, Botswana, Lord, the youth in Uganda, New Zealand, Father, we thank you, Swaziland, even African youth that are in the Somalia, everywhere. The youth will begin to have a vision, a vision to build, not a vision to destroy, a vision to build, not a vision to break for vision, a vision to build, not a vision to break. Vision to bring change. Visions, visions, visions from God. Visions, visions for communities. Visions, visions, visions for the gospel. Visions for evangelism. Visions for discipleship. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In yeah, Jesus' name. So Amen. Lord, let's read this scripture. Um, um, Ecclesiastes chapter number 12 and verse 1. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter number 12 and verse 1. He says, Remember your God in the days of your youth. Hmm. Who is God? He is the God of destiny. He is the God of potentials. He is the God of grace. He is the Father of forgiving. Mm. A man who does think about it. So I want every youth who is hearing us right now to just remember that God has forgiven them. And we are remembering 
voice of God that God take, take our life, take yes. our heart, yes, take our spirit, use us to benefit your kingdom in the, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Can we break up? Yeah, Father, we thank you. We the thank you. The youth are not vulnerable for destruction. We thank the you. Youth are not Father, you will leave the youth. Um, the youth are strong. The youth, the youth, are, the youth are, are courageous. Um, the, youth the youth are disciplined. The, the, the youth are faithful. The youth are committed, Sam. In the name of Jesus, you will direct their paths. You will lead them. In, in, you will lead them in technology. You will lead them in education. You will lead them in media. You will lead them all out in science. You will lead them in business. In the name of Jesus, they shall not be taken advantage of. They shall rise. They shall rise, Zolat. Thank you, Jesus. You know, um, when something happened when I was watching the European um, Euro Euro 2020 mm. finals. Mm. Um, there was a fight between the Italians and the, the English. Mm. And um, they were trying to bully them, beating them. It happens across the world. The youth must not be used as an instrument for people's political achievement. Yes. That is the word. Yes. The youth must not be used as an instrument for people's political achievement. Mm. We are praying for a sound mind of the youth across the globe. The that the youth will rise not to rebel, but they will understand the purpose of their youthful age. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Riando Robo Koka Shikaraba. We pray for the youth that they would not be used for political purposes. They will not be used for selfish political agendas. They would not be used for any agenda that would divide society. They will not be used for any ungodly idea. So, Lord, we pray wisdom over them. We pray discernment. We pray faithfulness and integrity to the ways of God, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Not because of this money. They shall not be swayed by money. They shall not be swayed by any older leaders. In the name of Jesus. Yan Kukura Brokuka Shikara Brundo Inara Brokuka Shika Kuka Shikara Brundo Yan de Debe Kuka Kaka Shikiri Brundo Yan Dada Dada Kuka Kashikara Brundo Yan Baba Kukura Brunda Daka Shiki Amen Amen um, I want to challenge the youth right now on this platform, and I will end up. Uncle Solomon will continue. Hmm. This is our next point that we want to pray about. This is it. The young man that created Facebook, I've seen you, Solomon, with him having Facebook and like pictures. He, he was a youth, but he was a youth with potentials. Please, Uncle Solomon, can you please share this on? on your YouTube uh, for me. The guy, I don't know the name, Frank was Frank Osa was himself. Uh, who is that? The the the, uh, the owner of Facebook account, the Facebook. Yeah, Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, yes. yeah. That guy, he is not an old man, but a youth with ten shelves. Hmm. Hmm. And I want us to pray, Uncle Solomon. Mm. Youth, youth is to reason, not for violence. Youthful age is for season of reason, not to create violence. Amen. 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 Yeah. And I want us to pray that God will give the youth grace to reason mm. violence. Mm. Mm. And number Every youth needs the provision of God to accomplish his mission in life. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, we stand in the gap mm. because we have a mission mm. that we are praying that God, we want to be innovative. Mm. We want to be creative. Mm. We want to be people mm. go to be people who can change our community, mm. our vicinity, our churches, our houses, our family. Mm. must see us with the solution, not a problem. We are the asset and not a liability in the name of Jesus. I pray for the youth around the world now. Stand the concept and the principles of the youthful ages. Yes, Lord. Father, yes, Lord. we break that thing. Youthful ideas. In you. Ideas in their youth. Innovation. 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 Wisdom from God. We download wisdom from you to create things, to bring solutions. Technological mm. solutions, scientific mm. solutions, uh, solutions in the media. In the name of Jesus, Riyanko Kuku Rabruka Shikara Brunduru, Yamba Baku Karaba Kuku, Yando Kuka. Their existence, the youth will ask, What am I to do on this earth? In the name Having of Jesus. a car is not enough. Oh mm. God, mm. having a house is not enough. Oh mm. God, mm. Getting, a, getting married is not enough. Mm. Oh God, but what we need to do is to make a change because one man in his youthful ages can make a difference. Yes, in the yes. name of Jesus, Amen. we want to make a difference in our time. Mm. Oh God, this platform is in the platform of our time. Mm. It is to create a message for our time. Mm. Father, in as much as the youth around the world has caused mess, mm. God, add our age to it mm. and give us a message to preach. In the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus mm. Christ, mm. without a mess, it will never be a message. Yes. We thank you, oh God, for how many times we have failed. We thank you, oh God, how many times we have fallen, mm. but we know that there is a man behind us who is you, oh God. Make us relevant, mm. make us an asset and not a liability mm. in the name of Christ. Mm. Father, we thank you. I, I, we thank you. I want to share this short word. Yes. I I want to pray for a medical doctor. Mm. The man is very huge in Africa. I want to protect his name. Mm. When I got to his house and I was praying for him, I just asked the man. The man is about 84 years now. So the man brought all his sons and the daughter. He has about nine children. Solomon. This, this, this were the words of the man. He said, I wish I am still young at your age. So I would have risen better. Mm. So being, being a youth is an opportunity to reason. Yes. It is not an opportunity to be used by anything. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Uh, I know you got to go, but that's fine. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Rex. He's based out in Ghana. Um, and may God bless you and continue to bless the work of your hands. God bless you, sir. I, I, I will come to uh, South Africa and I'll miss you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hope to see you soon then. All right, bro. You have to go to that. Okay. Love you, bro. Thank Bye. you. God bless. That's Rex there. You know, being a young person, being a youth, I just want to share the prayer here also, the decree and declaring that uh, Nontle, Nontle actually put. She said, I decree and declare that the youth of Africa, you know, to have hope and peace in you, O Lord, and rebuke every spirit of fear, anxiety, stress, frustration, depression, suicide in the name of Jesus. May we not be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we will let our requests be made known to God. And that's the, there are different elements that she mentioned there. What she was rebuking, spirit of fear, anxiety, stress, frustration, depression, suicide in the name of Jesus. And we're going to pray over that spirit. 
you know. So begin to pray over that spirit. Begin to pray over that spirit. Uh, let me put it out there again, just so we can begin to pray over it. Begin to pray over that spirit. Riando Robo Koka Shekaravrunaraba. Father, the spirit of fear. Fear of not being able to be successful. The fear of failing. Father, we come against that fear. In the lives of young people, we come against that fear. In the lives of young people in the city of Lusaka, we come against that fear. We declare that they would fulfill their potential. Fear of leadership. Fear of stepping out. Fear of taking a risk. Fear of failure. Fear of not getting education fear of getting married fear of not being able to make money we come against it fear because of the background they come from fear because of the kind of family they come from oh lord we come against it in the name of jesus fear for not being exposed for not being educated for not having the resources to do what they want to do we come against it we come against the spirit of anxiety and stress father we destroy it we rebuke it you said whatever oh lord we curse his cast father we uproot it in the name of jesus we come against the spirit of frustration and depression and we come against it you foul spirit of depression that is affecting the mental state of, uh, of young men and women in the city of Nairobi, in the city of Kampala, in the city of Lagos and Accra, in the villages, O oh Lord, in Uganda, in the villages in Tanzania, in the small towns of Angola and Namibia, in the north of Namibia, in South Africa, O oh Lord, we come against that in the name of Jesus. Riando Robo Koka Shekarabron. You spirit of suicide, <laughs> spirit of hopelessness, um, suicide, you come and you sell the idea to people, to young people that they are hopeless. <laughs> we declare hope over them. <laughs> we declare hope uh, and a vision <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Your life shall not be terminated. <laughs> Your life shall not be terminated <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we pray over, <laughs> we pray over. Eswatini, uh, the young people in Eswatini, uh, Father God, we lift them up. Uh, we lift them up. Uh, Father, they are out seeking for political change, uh, seeking for democratical change. Uh, Father, we pray that their vision uh, will be connected to the vision that you have for Eswatini. In the name of Jesus, uh, we protect them uh, against the spirit of fear and anxiety. Uh, we protect them against any sort of behavior, uh, oh Lord, any sort of spirit. Spirit, O oh Lord, that would rise up itself against you and your vision, O oh Lord, for the nation of Swaziland and Eswatini in the name of Jesus. Riando Robo Kokashika. Finally, I just want to read this, this scripture right here. It's just about courage. It says, Therefore, my brother and sisters, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Now, when it says always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, he's not just saying you should always give yourself fully for the work of the church. Like when you go to church. No, 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 no. The work of the Lord is where you are now. Where you are working now. The school you're studying now. The job that you have now. The business that you have now. That is the work of the Lord because you need to ask yourself, what is God wanting me to do right now? That is where you have to be a salt and a light and showcase who God is. Because remember, it says, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. You know, as young people and also as people generally, church is one of the, one of the so many places where we can serve God. Some people feel they can only serve God when they serve in church as an usher, as a greeter, when they, when they lead Bible studies, home cells, or they, they sing. That's the only... No! If you are a business person, that is your pulpit. If you are a teacher, that is your pulpit. If you are a student, that is your pulpit. You should be asking yourself, how best can I serve God here? Because remember, that is where you spend most of your hours a day. How God can I best how best can I represent God here? Very important. 
So finally, I want us to pray for courage. Courage to represent God where we are now. You are, you're not only a Christian when you go to church on Sunday. No, 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 no. You're a Christian 24-7. The same God of the Sunday is the same God of a Monday and the Tuesday and the Wednesday and the Thursday and all the way to Saturday. The same God. So, Father, we pray. Rwanda, Rabro, Koka, Shika, Rabon, Koka. We pray courage over us. We pray courage over young people across the continent of Africa. Young people who are Africans, who live in Europe, who live in America. Father, we pray over them. We pray for parents who are here, who have kids who are young people. We pray for their children in the name of Jesus. We pray for parents in St. Lucia, St. Martins, in the Caribbean. So we pray for parents up in the U.S., uh, up in Nigeria. Father God, that you have given their kids an African heritage uh, and they will fulfill, that will be part of the army that will fulfill the purpose of Africa. Oh Lord, you would raise them there. They will represent where they are in the name of Jesus. Riando, Robo, Koka, Shekerebo. We cast every spirit, any foul spirit of anxiety, foul spirit of uh, all our stress and depression. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We declare that their mind is sound. They have a sound mind. Their mind is functional. They reason well. They're intellectually superior. They're intellectually growing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we bless you, Lord Jesus, for all the prayers that we've offered to you. We know and believe that you have answered this day. And for everyone who is listening and watching right now, bless them where they are. Bless them with, no, with what no man can bless them with. <laughs> Father, bless them. Bless them with what no man can bless them with. You know the desire of their heart. I feel there is somebody here who is, if you feel you are at a, at a place where you cannot go forward anymore. You are beginning to settle and feel, I'm, I'm hopeless. That's just it. You don't have a solution. You don't have a way out. But I'm telling you, God will make a way. God will create a solution. Make sure you don't go deep into hopelessness and depression. Maybe in your business, on your career, you feel, no, this is it. And you're just there, winding away time. But God will raise you up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you guys for praying. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Let's continue in the atmosphere of prayer today. And let's continue uh, to pray for our continent. I would be back tonight at 8 p.m. South African time. I'll be talking to uh, a couple of uh, former pastors and young people uh, from a church in Cape Town who... Uh, whose pastor uh, has gone into so many scandals from a very old uh, leader, an American actually, but he lives in Cape Town, South Africa. And he's having some, uh, you know, sinful relationship with, with young girls and also abusing uh, the church members economically and, and all that. The name of the church is called uh, Ambassadors for Christ Church in Elsie's River in Cape Town, South Africa. So please join me at 8 p.m. Do not forget to subscribe right away. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, follow us. And uh, next week, we're going to have another uh, round of prayer. This is a weekly time of prayer. Every Thursday, we look at different issues in Africa. We bring it to table. We bring it before God and we cry out to him. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I would uh, catch you uh, a little bit later. Psalm 23, God has set a table for two. One share for himself, the king, and the second one, believe it or not, is for you. But of course, the enemy wants a seat at the table too. Anxiety wants a seat, envy wants a seat, worry and frustration want a seat. But don't give the enemy a seat at your table. Look up, go up, you're invited up the mountain of God. Move towards infinite power, splendor, love and beauty, healing and restoration. When we gaze upon the Almighty, we are changed by the captivation. 
empowered to take every thought captive in the battle of the mind. Shame is silenced by his glory and our future redefined. So draw near to Jesus. The shepherd is good. Our God is faithful. Take the place prepared for you and don't give the enemy a seat at your table.